YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with an epic new build. So, I told you guys, this series is back, it's not like something where I skip months in between uh, the episodes, uh, it's only been about a week, and if you recall, we had the Mutated Costume Man series. So I still have some ideas with this, but I'm going to move on to something a little bit more action oriented. So if you recall, there was a gang of Elvis impersonators that were going in and they were stealing uh, the costumes from the factory. And you can see them over here. Well, they're the new biggest, baddest gang in Tiny Town, and they're going to be doing a highway heist today. So I do need a name for these. I don't want to just name them Elvis impersonators. It's a little odd. So if you guys have a name, Comment down below while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button for some more Tiny Town. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, Komodo, you don't have a highway. Well, we're gonna build one here today, and it's gonna be like some Fast and the Furious stuff. Picture explosions, uh, gunfire, and, and I don't know, puppies or something. Actually, we're probably not gonna have puppies, but you know, I'm just kind of uh, clickbaiting a little bit. So, let's go ahead and we're gonna have a highway. Do I wanna elevate it? I think we're gonna elevate it a little bit. So, if you go to the town section, there's not really a highway piece. Uh, there's nothing like really, really wide. So you have to kind of make your own. So it's gonna be like a two lane highway on each side. But, what I can do, now let me find the right piece here. This will be, and this is gonna be a little bit odd, but we're gonna have on ramps like this, and it's gonna immediately turn into the highway because it's the only way we can do this. But, this is gonna work. I think this is gonna turn out to be actually pretty good. You know, I think this is the first time we've ever attempted a highway here. Now, I would like to have like an underpass. Maybe we'll put a tunnel or something here. That way you can get around to the other side. But for now, we're just going to do it this way. And I'll show you guys how we're going to actually kind of camouflage the side of this highway. Now, it is going to be a very, very abrupt highway. I do warn you. Like, you're going to turn and you're going to be on the highway like this. But that's about the only way we can actually do this highway. So we'll do it like this, we'll have the little on-ramp like here, and then the highway, I don't have anything with a barrier on it, do I? We might have to make our own little barrier here. I've got a little bridge, but I really don't think, is that appropriate to have that all the way up and down? I don't know, that's not actually that bad. I kind of don't mind that. You know, I kind of wish we had this style of barrier. This is a pedestrian bridge, but let's look at this real quick. Hmm, what do you guys think? I mean, maybe that is the barrier. I mean, this could be the bridge. Uh, we could do that underpass thing, which I'm not really, or overpass, I should say. I'm not really worried about that at the moment. But I'm debating if this is going to be our highway. So here's my thought. So we'll have that piece, and then we will have a little, almost like center divider about right here. So we'll go along this. Uh, we'll have to get rid of it where the bridge is. I'll get rid of these pieces. And then we'll have another bridge piece on the other side, so that'll be the other lanes of the highway. You know, I don't hate it. It kind of looks odd that the barrier constantly goes up and down, but we're going to say it's an artistic decision that the, uh, the people who designed the highway, they wanted to do it that way. So there we go. We got a highway. Now, for turns on the highway, because I do want to actually make this work with the whole city, not just this one little action scene, uh, we'll do kind of the same thing that we did with the on-ramp, and we'll try to figure it out from there, but I, I really feel like this is going to be a cool addition to the city here. And we'll stick one on this side. I mean, look at this. We got a full-blown highway. We can even send this out over the water. Like, maybe that's where the heist should be. Hmm, I'm thinking. You know what, for the time being, I'm not going to send it over the highway because we could totally do something really cool over the highway with the bridge. So we're actually going to continue going this way. So we'll build this highway up. I need to get the little center divider piece. And uh, yeah, now you're probably asking, well, what are they stealing? Well, I've got several options. We could do something like all Fast and the Furious where they're maybe heisting some really expensive supercars. Or it could be something like a nuke heist. Uh, I'm not sure you want the Elvis gang to get a nuke because that would probably be fairly deadly. Now, let's see. Is there anything else we need to add to this? I feel like this is actually okay. Uh, one thing I do want to do, and I want to show you guys. I almost sound like I said doo-doo there. Um, what we're going to do, and we're going to have this piece here. Is this big enough? I feel like there's a bigger one of these, right? No, oh, maybe there isn't. Uh, this is going to be lined up on the side of the highway in certain spots. That way I can uh, make the ground go down 
to the normal level. Now what I mean when I say that, so if I add one more piece uh, about right here, uh, hold on, go about like this. So right now we're level with where the ground normally is in my city. So I can totally just run another street up beside this, like a service road, or some people call it a frontage road. I could do that. There's a lot of things I can do. While I can still maintain the bridge over here, and I can get rid of these middle pieces. That way you can drive under it. So I actually do think this is a really neat part of the city. So I'm thinking our heist is going to be right in this area here. So... What we're going to be using, uh, we're going to use, let's go to, hmm, racetrack. That's probably got some supercars there. So we got muscle cars, you got stock cars, could be a NASCAR heist. But come on, you can't tell me they ain't trying to steal some Lamborghinis up in here. What do you guys say that is? It kind of, somewhat, maybe looks like a GTR. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, anything else all fancy? We have rally cars. A lot of these we've never used before, by the way. Uh, you got big diesels, you got something that looks like a Mustang, uh, that kind of looks like, I don't know, it looks like a mixture of a Viper, maybe it's a Viper, uh, it's got a weird front end, I don't want to 100% say it's a Viper, and this one definitely looks like a, uh, maybe a Mustang there, and of course we got super bikes, I mean there is a ton that we can use here, we're gonna have a cool little heist, so we do need a, uh, diesel, I think I want to use one of these race diesels for the trailer, just because we've never used these before, and I feel like it's like some sort of fancy company that uses these big diesels. So let's expand that. There we go. And I need to find a, a trailer of some sorts. I think I have it in one of these packs. Alright, so fun fact, I don't have a trailer it appears. Uh, that's actually kind of disappointing. I do have other trucks that we could totally load the cars on, but I was hoping to have like a flatbed I can kind of detach. I've got a couple things that look like one, but I'm not going to use it because I'm sure people are going to notice, like, say this flat cart here, this obviously is a, uh, you know, it's not that bad. It is a train car, but can you really, I mean, you could tell, obviously, but, I mean, it kind of looks cool. Maybe we can decorate it a bit to make it look a little bit futuristic. That way we can at least use this for one of the little haulers, and then maybe... For the others, we can use these other uh, vehicles here. So I'm going to kind of put them in position, have them kind of spread out here. Maybe one of them will be crashing. Uh, I need to turn off snapping for this. Yeah, so we'll have like a crash happening here. Maybe that was hauling one of the vehicles. So yeah, it's going to essentially be a supercar heist slash police chase. So say the, uh, the police got wind of what's happening here. And they're going to be in pursuit on the highway as well. Alright, so let's place some of the supercars here. So some are still going to be on the trailers. Can I just set those right on it? Oh, grabbing the wrong thing here. Alright, dude, those fit actually really well. So we'll say this one's still loaded up here. Uh, maybe we'll have the Mustang up here loaded up on this one. Kind of wants to snap through it. Uh, we need to grab some more of these bad boys. And then some will be racing off. Uh, I feel like, hmm, this is a really tight area, so it's going to be a really detailed scene, but there's going to need to be some things that I have to add here. Like, what are the, uh, the bandits? What are they on? Dude, they should totally be on super bikes. How about that? So, let's get them all on motorcycles here. And then we need to have, maybe one of them already has, uh, some sort of vehicle, like a Lamborghini or something. So, let's give them, hmm, which one do we like here? Actually, I like this black one with the red stripes. That looks pretty awesome. So we'll shove that. We'll use that one down there. And then there's these off-road buggies. Like, I feel like this might be, like, the enforcer vehicle. Do we have, like, a black one? Uh, we got a little bit darker one here. I kind of like this one. Here, let's use, let's use this one. So this will be, like, one of the enforcer vehicles. So say it's in the front trying to slow down all the trucks trying to get away. Okay, make sure snapping is not on. So we'll have like, maybe this bike up here. It's going to be racing towards the front. We'll have people on these. By the way, this is a really awkward scene to attempt to do because I keep grabbing the bridge because it's got such a wide grab box on it. So this is going to be a little bit frustrating, but we got this. So let's stick this here. All right, so the gang itself is going to be really easy to do because, I mean, they're all basically in the same costume except for you have a couple variants uh, slightly. So hmm, let's start adding those in real quick. Alright, how well do you guys fit on uh, bikes here? So, we'll put them kind of in an action pose. Alright, yeah, see how I kind of need to adjust these. They need to be fully out. That way it looks like he's actually holding on to the bike. There we go, look at that. 
So a lot of times they'll have somebody riding on the back, say they'll have like guns and stuff. So we'll kind of stick this one off the back here, put them in a little pose. So he's sitting like this. Also, this is a way for them to jump on the trailers in order to loosen the vehicles. So we'll probably have a vehicle flying off this one. Or it could have been the Lamborghini here. I'm not sure. By the way, I think this Lamborghini is a little too big. Uh, I might have resized it a little too big. There it goes. Maybe look down a little bit more. There we go. Maybe this one's actually falling off it. There we go. So we'll have it kind of in the air. We'll have this guy up here. Uh, say he just broke the chains off one of them and uh, he's just watching it go and he's getting ready to unload the next vehicle okay if we zoom in we have some action going on so if you look here we've got all the elvis impersonators uh, you've got some on the backs of bikes like this uh, you can see how he's firing up into the diesel you've got others that are jumping onto the trailers in order to free the cars up now sometimes it is actually a little bit unfortunate you can see this one uh, he's kind of crushed so this is where they release the uh, the Lamborghini here. I just moved a big part of the map. It's fine. And then you can see they're working on this trailer here. Uh, one guy's holding on for dear life here, but he's going to be fine. And then you have the one back here firing back at the police. And then you have this here. This is going to be like a big explosion. So I need one more race car. Or let's go with... Uh, hmm, what do we want to go with? Maybe one of the ones we haven't used. Uh, so maybe this... Let's go with this car here. So this one's just flying off too with the cop car. And then we're going to use the explosion effect and have a big nasty fireball coming up from this. Uh, it's kind of the unfortunate thing about the heist. Now I have another idea for this heist. So say they're trying to get these cars unloaded as fast as possible because they're going to get in the cars and the bikes and they're going to race forward and try to outrun the police because there's going to be a trap waiting for the rest of the cops. There's going to be a bridge over here that they're going to be placing a bunch of C4 on. You know, the idea of this episode, this is probably like one of my favorite episodes I've done in a while. Like, this is cool. I, I like this a whole lot. Alright, let's stick this little uh, fireball under here. Dude, that looks cool. That looks epic, actually. So yeah, you got a big collision happening here. Cars are going to be flying off the highways. It's going to look really cool once we fill out this area here. And then you have a bunch of stuff and businesses. And all you see is that happening up on the highway. So let's extend this just a little bit here. And let's put these over here. So I know it, it probably would be like probably several miles down the road where they would be blowing up the bridge. But it's tiny town. We kind of have to keep things moving here. So the bridge is probably going to be about right here. So let me go ahead and extend this out. And I'll show you guys where it exactly is going to be. Oh, by the way, you know what we can finally use? We can finally use these highway signs. Like, we rarely ever use these things because we've never had a highway. So, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Also, if you guys have any suggestions as far as maybe what other crimes uh, these people could be doing, like, let me know. We could come up with some uh, really cool stuff here. All right, so we got this. Uh, I'm making a little frontage road here real quick. So this is going to run alongside. And then I'll fill in that little gap that you see. And this is going to be uh, the overpass that they're about to blow up. I just wanted, wanted to get this placed. That way I know exactly what I need to do here. Probably put another on-ramp over here too. Alright, so this is kind of what it looks like. I'm honestly surprised this worked out this well. So, you can see the uh, the frontage road over here. You've got a overpass. Uh, this will be the ramp leading back up to the highway. And I'll just start up the grass area on the other side again. Like I said, the only thing that's kind of wonky is the, uh, the on-ramps themselves. Okay, so if you go down on this side of the highway, I've placed the bridge. You can see uh, the criminals actually loading up the C4 from the truck and they're sticking it on the bridge. So yeah, they're getting ready to blow this joint. It's probably not going to work out because nothing ever does in Tiny Town. So we've got that. Now what we need to add next, I need to complete the other side, but I need to add some highway traffic because I mean, what good's the highway if it's just going to be a big empty space? So let me go ahead and get to decorating that real quick. Okay, so you can see that we've added quite a bit of highway traffic here. So it made the scene look a lot more alive. So you can see they're heading down. I've got traffic on the other side too. And then you can see down here uh, where the on-ramp is. You can see they caused a little bit of an accident. And I'm, move I'm moving everything again. But yeah, you can see the accident here that they've caused. 
Now, I unfortunately, last episode, forgot a, uh, a very valuable character. And uh, you know what? She's going to be back here, too. Uh, she's going to think there's a street race going on because she sees all the high-powered cars going. And uh, Grandma's going to be in her own little high-powered car. We all know Grandma's a fan of burning rubber and eating tacos. So, yes, Grandma's got her high-powered uh, muscle car here. And she's flying down the highway towards the, uh, the chase here. Which, by the way, look at it from this angle. Like, that looks cool. And by the way, I'm going to zoom out. So this is going to give you perspective how this highway looks in uh, comparison to the city over here. So I'm thinking it's going to go out to a bridge, maybe an island, uh, over towards the ocean. And I think I want to make it come this way and go maybe on the back side, uh, the back side of the zombie stuff here, and then wrap around eventually. So maybe we'll actually have a complete highway system. So really the only things I want to add now, I want to try to add some of those highway signs to see if that will... Uh, Makes sense to kind of set this area off a bit. So we could stick these completely over here. Uh, make sure we have snapping off because I don't think we're going to be able to have that on. Hold on, let's go ahead and try to grab this piece. So if we str oh, it's already basically the perfect length. Hold on, let's go ahead and sit this down. Oh, it sets down in the highway. You got to be kidding me. Hold on, let's add one more on this side. So this will be showing you that the exit's right up here. Actually, it's an on ramp. Uh, do we have an on-ramp thing? I need to have an exit ramp, too, on the other side. But maybe the exit's on its way, so we can stick that there. And then on this side of the highway, uh, we can use this one over here. Just kind of gives it a little bit extra detail here. Like, look at that. This is kind of a cool-looking highway. I'm digging this a lot. Like, this is uh, way more unique than we've ever had as far as our road system. Uh, it's normally been really plain Jane, but now that we've added a highway here, like this looks cool. And then if we can get some skyscrapers in the background, maybe a, a bigger portion of the city's on this side. Like it would look really cool with skyscrapers there. So, anyways, we need a name for the little uh, Elvis gang here. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, what are they going to be doing next? Could it be a bank heist? Could they be stealing a nuke? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time in Tiny Town.